Hey there, folks, and welcome to a new series for October. We're going to be taking a small break from Space Engineers, and we're going to be playing some Seven Days to Die. In this particular game, we are having one single life, no respawn, so it's going to be like a hardcore mode. There are no loot respawns, and the Horde Knights are going to be a little bit harder. So... That's going to be it, and let's get started right away. Let's knock out some of these initial challenges. So let's get some stones, get some plant fiber, and get these challenges out of the way. Uh, the first goal for this first day is to find a base, hunker down, and try not to die. Maybe find some good clothing, get rid of the inevitable plant fiber that we're going to be wearing. And after that... We're going to just try to survive. We're going to be doing a melee-focused build, probably leveling up Pommel Pete quite a bit, and in addition to that, we will probably be working on some firearms as well. So, I think we have enough stuff. We can start with our bedroll. And while that's crafting, let's get some wood. All right, that's done, so let's drag this down, place it down, get that out of the way. Now we need to make a stone axe, which will be useful. Whoops, nope, don't craft that again. Stone axe. We do need some more wood yet. And we can make ourselves some plant fiber pants, a shirt. We'll probably want to make a hood as well. And some shoes. Let's wear that, wear that, wear that. And shoes are almost done. And let's wear those. So let's take a look at our surroundings and see what we see. It looks like we're at the edge of a forest biome. And there's, uh, it looks like it goes on for quite a ways. And we have a small little village here. Doesn't look like a lot of points of interest, but I do see a couple. And right away, I do see a couple of buildings that would stand out to be a good first starter base. But we might be able to find better. All right, got some feathers right away, which is great because then we can start making some arrows. I do tend to like to have a bow and arrow, especially when skulking around a point of interest and there's zombies around that are sleeping sometimes you can one shot them in the head because you do three and a half times the damage uh, when you sneak attack them so i do tend to like to do that all right we should get a wooden club before we move on as pummel pizza is going to be important for us okay we have our club now we need some wood for the bows and arrows. I guess we'll just uh, get these tutorial things out of the way quickly. All right, now we just need some stone. Luckily, there's some stone right here. Might as well gather quite a few because we will use those for arrows as well. Well, that uh, took the life out of my axe. Might as well repair it right away. All right, that's all repaired. Now let's go take a look at the village and see what we can see. And we probably do want to be a little bit quiet. We have O'Malley Oats. That would be a good place to raid. Probably a good first day raid. Not too terribly hard. We've got uh, Burt's Brewery. Gun and Fun. That would be good. Might be able to find some good stuff in there. Um... I do like that building there as it looks like it's made out of either cobblestone or cement. Hard to tell. And also that building there. Ooh, chicken. Let us make ourselves the bow and some arrows. And we can get ourselves some food right away. Come back here, chicken. I want to shoot you. Ah, oh, missed. Elusive chicken. 
Stop moving. Well, the chicken appears to be far too elusive for me, so let's focus on other things for the first day. We'll probably be able to get some food by looting some stuff, so let's focus on that instead. In fact... Corn. Good way to get corn. Alright, so we already have some food on our first day, and we have our first arrival. Why, hello there. All right, first zombie down. Many more to go, hopefully. All right, let's, uh, we're actually pretty low on wood, so let's grab some. And it looks like we can get in here somehow. In here, maybe? Nope, all right. How do we get in? Probably through the door. It looks like there's a door in the back. But let's go in through the front. I'm sure there's some people that want to say hello in here. Oh, it looks like we have some medical supplies. And we have some fort bites. Cool. Nothing else in here. And everything seems pretty empty. Grab the chair. I do see, I believe, a dog in there. I'm not looking forward to that. Well, it looks like we have contracted the virus, so we'll want to find something perhaps some honey or something right away to take care of that. That was probably really stupid of me to go and take on a dog this early on, but I wanted the loots in here. Oh, I hear some zombies getting cranky. There's really not much in here, is there? Alright, took care of him. Oop. Got some ammo here. Ooh, pipe bomb. There's something up there. I think the way to do that is to go up here. I saw the ladder. We're gonna have to get on top of here. And now we can get on the ladder. And now we can explore the fun area up here. Oh, hey there. Off with your head. All right, let's go on up top. And I think we go in, is it this way? Yeah, and then there is, well, that's not the right way. Uh, there is a window open over there. I just need to do the parkour and I can get myself in. All right, now we need to find that open door. I believe one of these was unlocked. Yeah, this is the unlocked one. And if I don't think I'm gonna make that jump, I might as well just place down a wooden frame. I need to make some wooden frames anyways to complete that challenge. So let's actually go do that. Actually, we need some stone arrows. Let's craft some of those. Craft some of those, too. All right, now we have some arrows back, which is good. All right, we're in. Oh, and we got some visitors. Well, that was a little bit close. We ran out of durability on our club. 
that would have been really bad, but luckily we were able to uh, kind of evade them a little bit. All right. Well, I don't see anything in here that's particularly interesting to loot. Anything down there? We do have a backpack. Ooh, with a scrap helmet. I think we will take that and 100% wear the scrap helmet. Way better than the fiber hood. So let's head on up. I think there's one more level to this place. Maybe even two. We still haven't gotten to the main loot yet. Ah, this appears to be the main loot. I don't see anything else over there. Got a level two club, which we will definitely use. Got some stone axes. And a whole bunch of stuff. What do we got here? We have uh, scrap armor, stone sledgehammer, a bunch of arrows, a large tank mod, and some more scrap. So a lot of this stuff we'll be able to sell. And the stuff that we won't, we will use. So let's uh, condense our inventory a little bit. Let's wear that. Let's bring this down. We don't need this level one anymore. We can scrap that. We have two. And we'll scrap that one. We'll repair that one. And we'll scrap the level one wooden club. We'll repair this one. And I think we're good. And let us find a place to call home. Yep, I don't think this is a great place to call home. Perhaps. Uh, that's a little bit too big, but I'm almost certain we'll be able to find some antibiotics in there, so I'm not too worried about the infection that we currently have. This, on the other hand, this would be a good horde home. Good for horde night. So I think we're going to clear that out and probably call that home for the night. Alright. It looks like we're a little bit low on health, so I'm going to eat some food, make sure that our food is where it should be. And I bet you this is a really big POI as well. But we'll place our land claim block here, and then that will prevent zombies from respawning. Ooh. Yeah, well, let's uh, take some of these blocks here. Clear this out and get that start a base done. All right, let's upgrade some blocks, get that done. We'll get a campfire built, and then we'll be able to find where the trader is. And looks like we have someone hiding down here. Oh, nope, that's not someone, that's just garbage. There probably is someone hiding down here, though. Got some medical supplies here. Uh, nothing. Impressive. Whoops. Yep. Yeah, woke someone up. Let's test out our sledgehammer. Yeah, it seems pretty effective. Alright, we got six boiled water and some chili. That was actually really good to find this early on. Got some lock picks, or rather a lock pick. Uh, what shall we do? I think we're going to put a campfire in here. And we're going to place down our bed. Not as though we're going to use our bed, but we're just going to still place it down. And let's place down our land claim block. Right next to it. I'd like to build a storage chest, but first let's get rid of some of this 
wooden pallets here, and then we'll be able to build such a thing. Got a backpack. And we have some herbal antibiotics. Might as well take those right away. That was a lucky find. Alright, now we have enough so that we can build our wooden storage chest. We also should be able to build a bandage. We'll build a... We'll get that built so that in case we need to use it if we start bleeding. Alright, let's store that. Actually, yeah, we let's store that. Let's store that, that. Actually, we can use the iron arrows. Get rid of that. Scrap that. All right. Well, we can probably head on down here. It looks a little dangerous, though. Maybe there's a safer way than just dropping down. Probably not. All right. Good so far. Break open this. Nope. Not going to break that open. Break this one open? Nope. All right. Let's head on down. See what we can find in the mine. I've never actually been to this point of interest before. So I'm curious as to what's down here. Hmm. Jump down here, maybe. There we go. Interesting. Got some locked doors and some machinery behind it. I don't really know how to get in there. But that's okay. All we need is our trusty sledgehammer. Alright, well the first day is going pretty well so far. Haven't leveled up yet. We'd like to do that. In fact, we should have some skill points we should be able to spend. And, uh... Let's actually go do that. Let's go spend our skill points. I'd like to get one in Strength, one in Pummel Pete, one in Sexual Tyrannosaurus. We have one left. Uh, perhaps we could put it into Lucky Looter. And yeah, I think that'll be good for now at least. Anything back there? Nope. This does go somewhere. Oop, got another zombie. I wonder, is this the cave system for the trader? Because the trader is very close. I wonder, it might be. We do need a little extra health. I don't want to use my bandage, but I do have a bandage that will uh, stop bleeding if we need it. But I kind of need the health right now, so we're going to be using that to heal ourselves. Let's repair that. All right, now we're all up and running again. Well, hello. I see you're hiding there. All right. Get a little damage done to him. Missed the head. That didn't. Ooh, I just realized we have a blunderbuss. Uh, I don't think we have any blunderbuss. Oh, we do have some blunderbuss ammo, too. So let's put that on maybe next to our bandage. One thing I would like to do is perhaps we can make a stone shovel. And then we can get ourselves some cobblestone right away. Doesn't really pay for us to place down our bed as if we die. We are not respawning. It's going to be the end of the series. All right. So that's where we just were. And this... Okay, so this is where that locked door was. I see we have another sleeping zombie. 
Got him in the face. All right, anything here? Nope. We have an abrasion, unfortunately. Hmm. Dumpster. Oh, so this green wall is where we put our land claim block. I see, that's what that is. Tripping me out there for a little bit. What do we have here? Damage, the uh, 44 Magnum is the most powerful handgun in the world. Do 10% more damage. Uh, yes, please. Let's take out our club. So that appears to be the correct way to go. Up those ladders there. But we have a shotgun messiah crate. Definitely gonna see what's in here. I think this is the main loot for this. Got some shotgun ammo and a pipe bomb. And a shamway foods. What do we got in here? Well, we got some sham, which is good. Can always use food. We also have another level two wooden club, another level two wooden club. We got some knuckle wraps. I'm not going to be doing much fist fighting, but we can sell them. All right, I think that's all there is. Oh, not everything. And we have an insulated liner mod. We'll take that and we will take that. And that, I believe, is everything. All right. Now we can head on up and see what's up there. I think this is just the way to get out. It's getting relatively late, but I believe we can do one more thing before we go. And we're locked inside. Okay. Um, first things first, let's get out. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back up here and drop off our goods in our crate. And then we're going to go take a look at that hospital. We could definitely use some supplies and probably secure this space up a little bit at night. All right, where did I place my stuff? All right, I hear a zombie down there, but I'm not going to worry about him. Let's get ourselves a wooden frame, craft a couple of those. And it looks like we need to get rid of this. And we'll eventually want to start thinking about how we're going to deal with the hordes, and I have an idea. What I would like to do is we could have a door here that we can open up and then have them snake through basically a bunch of spikes and then have wooden bars and stuff where we can whack them. And then it'll eventually wind its way up to the top, to the roof. But uh, that will be probably for Horde Knight and, well, Horde Knight isn't for a while yet. All right, I definitely hear a zombie out there. I think he's probably just outside right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is. And I'm stuck. Ouch. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. Um, plan B, don't do that. <laughs> that, that, was, uh, that was bad. We kind of got wedged in there and we were stuck. Left with eight health. That would have been a quick end to the series. I don't think there's anything we can do to really help with that right now. Uh, perhaps we can go raid the medical area and see what they have. Go raid the hospital. 
Just got to be very careful. Because any amount of damage at this point is going to kill us. One whack from one zombie and we are done for. All right. We could technically sleep. This is one heck of a poppin' pills. And that might help a little bit. We'll get a little bit of health back. What we could do is we could put one point into fast metabolism that will make us eat or will make us a little bit hungry, a little bit quicker, but we'll gain health over time. And I think that's probably what we're going to want to do if we haven't already, which we have not. All right, well, let's uh, head on into the Poppin' Pills, also known as Hospital, and see what we can do in here. Looks like there's some landmines uh, right away. Oop, missed. And I don't feel like stepping on them. So that's definitely not the right way to get into popping pills. Oop, and we got a zombie. Like to keep my distance. And the sledgehammer wins again. I believe this might be the correct way to head in, but it's getting pretty late. I don't know if I want to yet. All right, get some bones. We can make ourselves a bone knife. All right, let's uh, get rid of the rotting flesh and make ourselves a bone knife. I think we can make a bunch of them and sell some of them if we really wanted to. Ooh, got a zombie right there. With 11 hit points, I don't feel too confident. However, if there's only one zombie in there and I can get to some of those things, I might be able to get healed. So I'm going to take the risk. Oh, I got rid of my blunderbuss ammo. I am so stupid. Because I could have one-shot that guy. Anyone else in here? Okay. Yeah, have, have fun whacking at that door. Okay. New plan. Let's head home. <laughs> Got whacked down to four health. So, uh, yep. Yeah, definitely not good. And it's getting relatively late. So I think we're just going to hunker down for the night and probably call it. I know there's a little bit of daytime left. Exactly one and a half hours. But with as little health as we have, probably not a good thing to do. Let's try to go find a way to get ourselves some more health before we go and raid the Poppin' Pills. So let's head in here. Uh, we can get some scrap metal and make that a little bit nicer. I don't believe they see us. I probably should have taken one of those fortitude things. That would have helped. So let's eat some food. whole whopping one health from it, but better than nothing. Alright, we also have some chili we can eat. There we go, that's a little better. And we have some sham too. Eat two sham. And I think we're going to hunker down for the night. So I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you folks for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.